Yeah. So yesterday we came to Barbridge Junction from Nantwich. It was kind of an uneventful ride over. We did decide to skip Snugberries, which is going to be most controversial. <laughs> There's a nice trip up here and it's the third time we've done the first section and the second time we've done the second se second half. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, kind of funny. I realized as I was turning around at Bridge 91 that I'd been through that bridge five times. <laughs> so I'm like, this is, Hi. this is quite possibly our favorite bridge. <laughs> You know, well, maybe not our favourite, but our well, most our, our most travelled bridge. I'm yeah. not sure we've gone five times <laughs> through any other bridge. So, um, so yeah, we actually came to Barbara Junction to meet Mark and Angela from Curtain Score, who made our bungs for us last year. So it was really nice to finally meet them um, and have a really nice afternoon chatting with them in the pub. Yep, and surprisingly, the whole conversation was not about curtains, <laughs> which it was mainly about Springer Spaniels. It was mainly honest. about Springer Spaniels. Yeah, they've got they've got a Springer Spaniel who's really cute. We sort of thought there might be a romance, but unfortunately, George just basically wasn't paying much attention, and she kind of wanted to take his nose off every time he snuck it in anywhere near her water bowl. So, alas, for now, still a bachelor, but... <laughs> uh, and today we are going to turn down the Middlewich branch, so the junction is just back there. Yeah, really, like literally through that narrows there, and then immediately hard uh, from this direction. Right hand turn. <laughs> the branch had the famous breach last year that left um, a whole bunch of boats suddenly stranded when an embankment gave way and closed down um, the branch for good. Nearly a year I think. Yeah it was like a long time. So it's been reopened and uh, and we're gonna go up there and there will probably be some signs of where exactly it was. I think we'll be able to tell because it'll look shiny and new. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But ultimately, it's a lesson in don't leave the lock gates open, or the lock, or don't leave the paddles open. But we might not get that far today because I think we're going to stop by Aqueduct Marina and uh, and do some work. Although we're not getting off nearly as early as we always say we will. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. We set off from our mooring, but are clearly distracted this morning as we forget to start the cameras on the bow and stern of the boat. The turn onto the Middlewich branch is a blind junction and you can't see if a boat's coming the other way. When we passed the junction a couple of days ago, our timing was terrible and we met a boat right on the junction. To try and avoid a similar situation today, Jo walks ahead onto the bridge so she can warn me if there's a boat coming. Luckily it's all clear, so we can safely make the turn. The first section of the Middlewich branch is lined with private moorings on both sides of the canal. I believe they are managed by Barbridge Marina, who also have a chandlery and workshop with slipway, as well as a day boat and boat sails. The Middlewich branch is part of the Shropshire Union Canal, and it links the Shropshire Union main line at Barbridge Junction with the town of Middlewich, which is on the Trenton Mersey Canal. It is just 10 miles long and has four narrow locks. It was built in 1827 and was planned to be part of the Chester Canal, which linked Chester and Nantwich. At bridge number four, I pause so Joe can jump on to get the cameras set up. That's better. up at the first lock. There's four boats in front of us. Traffic a jam. And we've literally just pulled up and there's already a boat behind us so it's quite busy. That's what happens when you don't leave the mooring till 10.30 in the morning. Yeah well if you were a little quicker we'd have made it off. This is Chalmanston Lock which will take us down 11 feet so it's a fairly deep lock. We've been told this is the third busiest lock in the country but I don't know how true that is. There's a water point just before the lock landing. When one of the boats that has just come up the locks wants to use it, the boats waiting to go down have to do a little shuffle to make room for them at the water point. Waiting for your turn on a lock can actually be quite social, as everyone usually helps out and you get to chat to all the other boaters. Here we bump into the crew of Rosie Love, who we went down the Northgate staircase with in Chester a few weeks ago. Thank you. 
This is Venetian Marina. We were last here in 2017 when we were boat shopping. It looks like the Canal and River Trust have been doing some work putting in some shiny new siding here. We arrive at Minsul Lock just as a boat is about to go down. There are no other boats waiting, so it'll be our turn next. This is Aqueduct Marina. We've only been on the Middlewich branch for about three miles, and this is the third marina we've passed. This is another marina we visited when boat shopping. We're on the Middlewich. Branch. Branch, not an arm. Very important. <laughs> oh, it's such a funny morning. We um, we were getting ready to leave. We got up later than we wanted, but it is Sunday, even though every day is a Sunday. <laughs> and um, we were up later than we wanted. And then we were talking to a lovely viewer who brought George some biscuits. And then we were doing our like little recording. <laughs> and during that time, four boats went past and turned down the middle which branch in front of us. And um. Two, we ended up in a hell of a convoy. Two of them actually stopped, but other boats must have gone because we arrived at the lock um, by Venetian Marina and there was four boats. There was one just going in, but that was one of four in front of us. <laughs> so we got in this almighty queue for the lock. Yeah, it took quite a long time. <laughs> I mean, it was worth it because really why we didn't get off quick this morning was we met the viewer with the, with the great big, yeah, horse. great big Great Dane. So cute. And we're and just on narrowboat time, so it's it's fun. Yeah, and George gets a bag of biscuits out of it and everything. But uh, but yeah, basically it just meant if we'd left like five minutes earlier, we'd have been three boats ahead. Yeah, they literally all came at once. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the way it goes, I guess. Yeah. Oh well. And then we got to chat to some people. It was good. Mhm. Mm no, it's been a very pleasant trip down. The weather has held. It is definitely feeling muggy and kind of um, right at the edge of turning to poop, basically. Yeah, the rain is due. Very due. <laughs> and they've been uh, forecasting some thunderstorms and stuff, so we may may have a bit of a blow um, today because the boat's kind of not in the most sheltered place and everything. But. but we found this mooring that was recommended by Angela and Mark. Uh, just by Aqueduct Marina, and it is very nice. There's a little picnic bench where we had our lunch. Yep, it's a good little setup. So we're going to spend the day here, probably being massively drenched from above by by water. But um, at least it's not water from below. Yeah, and we're actually, I feel, even though the marina is just behind us, it actually feels pretty rural here, so it's nice. Yeah. And we're just going to spend the rest of the afternoon working. So that was incredibly entertaining. We should tell you more about nothing happening other than that. <laughs> there were some pretty deep blocks. Yeah, there were just two of them, but they were pretty that deep. That first one was really deep. Yeah. And when going up, they were definitely sort of pushing and pulling around yeah. a bit. So 
we had to raise everybody a little bit slow. Uh, trust me, everyone didn't get raised slowly. No, not everybody. <laughs> there was the one guy. I could hear the engine just yeah, revving like yeah, mad because yeah. there was the two. Some people just the, don't. The are. very fast spinners. <laughs> and the thing is, you don't know if the person raising it is with the boat or or not. But yeah, some people just you know crank it all the way full. Yeah. All the way open straight away yeah and that one boat was in full reverse the entire time trying not to hit the front mm -hmm. and then i watched the gates go thunk. yeah so i must have must have gotten a little bit of speed going out. there's a nice little hub by venetian marina by that lock because um i guess there's a cafe and a little chandlery and stuff yeah we'd actually been there before when we were doing the um boat search long long ago Two in years a ago. uh in a galaxy somewhere <laughs> to the left of us <laughs> But obviously we're both very tired, so should we pack it in, roll it up, finish it up? Are you doing so should we have a nap? <laughs> I think a nap sounds like a good idea. We need to work. I mm -hmm. need to work. We need to work. So. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below, one way or another. And um, click the bell if you want to get notifications after <laughs> you subscribing. Subscribed. Right, so we are, where are we? Barber's Junction. Barber's Junction. <laughs> That's a little bit um, mouth twitchy. It looks like the Canal and River Trust have been doing some work, putting in some shiny new, sh shiny new shiding. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> some shiny new shiding. <laughs> I'm just, Sean Connery. It looks like the Canal and River Trust have been doing some work, putting in some shiny new shiding here. <laughs> Come on, this is annoying. Oh, that's hilarious. That's gold. It's hilarious, but I can guarantee you when I'm editing it, I'll be cursing us. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. It looks like the Canal and River Trust have been doing some work putting in some shiny new... Damn it. This is Venetian Marina. We were here last... Damn it. Stop laughing. And see. It looks like the Canal and River Trust have been doing some work putting in some new shite... <laughs> From the workboats, it looks like the Canal and River Trust have been doing some work putting in some shiny new siding here. You're laughing? <laughs> Gotta stop laughing. I had to hold my breath for that one. That one. Put it on Kermie's eye. Kermie is blind. Kermie has a chinchilla for an eye.